Nina Ognanovic, welcome to CNN News 18. Hi, thank you for having me. Nina, your film, uh, Where the Road Leads, is, is a coming-of-age drama which was screened at the ongoing Mami Film Festival in Mumbai. How has been the response to the film? You know, so far, uh, we've had one screening with the audience. We have another one coming up on the 2nd of November. And the audience here is, I have to say, different than anything we've experienced before. You can really tell how much the, the people here love their cinema and how knowledgeable they are. And they, they reference the literature that I don't even know how they guessed that was inspired by. So it was a very, very um, fruitful conversation. It was like an hour long Q&A. And I couldn't have enough good things to say about them. You know, the film Where the Road Leads is set in, in a Serbian village which is barely yeah. inhabited. And one of the lead characters from the film, who, whose name is Jenna, decides to do everything in her capacity to, to save the life of a foreigner who promised her that he will take her away from this perishing town. What is it that you wanted to say with this story, uh, Nina? You know, uh, the idea for this story comes from something personal that's happened to me. A while back, I kind of felt that uh, whatever I tried to do and wherever I tried to go, I would always fail and come back to the same place. So that feeling of frustration was really the inspiration for the film. And um, yeah, what I try to do with the story is make this claustrophobic little town that seems like that it's shrinking even and have her and have the audience hopefully really feel that frustration. And of course, root for her to, to eventually leave. You know, the film uh, is having a great festival journey. Apart from Mami, it was yes. also screened at the various film festivals across the world in the past. According to you, what has been the most common feedback that the film has received from the audience? You know what, what the, the most common thing that I've heard um, was actually something that makes me really happy. And that is that they kind of understand the story and that they can relate to the character, which is really important to me because it speaks to, I guess, universal uh, problem that she's facing. You know, this is your first feature film. You, of, first, course, yeah. have, you of course, have directed two short films in the past. The one I really liked, uh, I tried to watch its trailer was uh, the film called, your short film called The Brand New TV. Do you think these themes of or the contrast between big cities and the and the countryside will always find an audience across the world? I think so. I think so. And I think that too, um, whether it's a big city or a small town, I, don't, I think that some problems are just universal everywhere. It's just wherever you are, you're still a human being and we all still go through the same things. So I think, yeah. In the female lead of your film, Jenna Belika, who actually plays the role of Jenna in, in, in the film, uh, had said in one of her interviews that it really helped her finding a connection with, with, with the character she was playing in the film because she too left her home very young in real life. Was that one of the reasons when you cast her? Um, well, she left her home, I think she was either 18 or 19 and she came to Belgrade where we met at school. So she was very young and she didn't know anyone in the city. Um, we met at school and we worked on that short that you mentioned, A Brand New TV, and that's where I really discovered her strengths as an actor. And I think she really lights up the frame. And she also delivers quite a lot with very, very little movement. And she doesn't have to say much, but you still get everything that she's feeling. And those are the reasons why I, why I chose her. You know, the film, I think, uh, is, 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 was made on a, on a shoestring budget, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, you're right. So what has been the biggest challenge for you to put this film together? Uh, well, there have been quite a few, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, the money was tight and most of it really went towards lodging and food and transportation because we had actors who were um, willing to do our film, but they were still at the same time working on other commercial projects. So we would always have to shift them back and forth between sets. Sometimes they would just sleep in the car, in the back seat, and then come straight from one set to the other. Uh, but one of the biggest challenges, I would say, production-wise, was the fact that in the village, there was no cell signal or no internet or anything. So while we were there, we were completely isolated from everything and everyone. And in order to get connection with the outside world, and if we needed anything, we needed to drive like 45 minutes outside of the town and then 
tried to get someone <laughs> to get us what we needed. So like the film is set in this Serbian village. So how many days you actually shot for the film? Uh, we shot back in September of 2021. We had 17 shooting days over the course of maybe a month. And then because of the weather and a couple of things that went wrong, we came back for another three. You know, while you are in India, have you got a chance to see other Indian films at Mami as well? I have not had a chance to see anything at Mami yet because the first couple of days have been hectic with the premiere and the opening ceremony and the interviews and press and PR. But I am looking forward to, we are free from tomorrow. So hopefully I want to catch something. I've seen, uh, I actually did a press conference yesterday with some amazing indie Indian filmmakers. And um, yeah, I want to check out their films. Have you made any friends here? Filmmaker friends in India, in Mumbai? I have, and we have actually had some film filmmaker friends here, already coming here. So yeah, everyone here has been very, very welcoming. And our friends have uh, kindly enough taking us around town and around, and around Mumbai. And we've tried Indian food and at some pretty great restaurants. So yeah. And finally, you know, your film has been winning hearts. Is there a plan now to release this film on one of the streaming platforms so that World 2 can enjoy this coming of age drama? Eventually, yes. Uh, first of all, we are having a theatrical release. We fought very hardly for that in Serbia, and it starts in 10 days, I think. And now we're discussing our options here in India as well, because I would like to, um, you know, film festivals and their audience is one thing, and like the real everyday theater audience is another. And I would like to get a chance to experience that here as well. So um, we're in talks with some people right now. And finally, have you decided your next film? What genre you'd like to make? Uh, yes, I have. I, I'm writing it. I'm pretty close to done. Um, you know, I like a mixture of genres. Like this one we call a coming of age Western. So the next one would be, I guess, a, a Western a little bit, but mostly a crime drama or yeah, for now, for now. Nina, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Wishing you thank best. You. Thank you for having me. For the film and thank for you. the future. Looking forward to see you again in India with a new film. Thank you so much and best of luck. Thank you.